so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We're given the rational function f of x and asked to determine the following function values. f of 1, f of negative 6, and f of 1 eighth. We'll first do this by hand, then check the function values on the graphing calculator, and then also take a look at the graph of f of x. So to determine the function value f of 1, we'll substitute 1 for x, which would give us 1 divided by the quantity 1 plus 2, minus two. Let's first simplify this fraction. We'd have one-third minus two, which I'll write as minus two over one, because to perform this subtraction, we do have to obtain a common denominator, which would be three. So we're gonna multiply two over one by three over three to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of three. So now we have one-third minus six-thirds. Denominator stays three, and the numerator would be one minus six, which is negative five. So we say f of one equals negative five-thirds. Graphically, this means our function f of x would contain the point with an x-coordinate of one and a y-coordinate of negative five-thirds, which we'll verify at the end of this video. To find f of negative six, we substitute negative six for x, which would give us negative six divided by the quantity negative six plus two, and then minus two. Again, we'll simplify this fraction first. We have negative six over negative four, minus two, but negative six fourths does simplify a negative divided by a negative is positive, and six-fourths simplifies to three-halves. So this would be three-halves minus two, or two over one. Again, we have to obtain a common denominator, which would be two. So now we'll multiply two over one by two over two. Notice now our denominator is two. The numerator would be three minus this would be four, three minus four is negative one. So our function value is negative one half, so we can say f of negative six equals negative one half, or if we were to graph the function, the function would contain the point with an x-coordinate of negative six and the y-coordinate of negative one half. Now this last one's a little bit more challenging because when we substitute a fraction into our rational function, we'll have a complex fraction or fractions within fractions. But the process is the same. We're going to substitute 1 eighth for x. So we would have 1 eighth divided by the quantity 1 eighth plus two. I'm gonna write 1 eighth plus two over one and then minus two. So let's first add these fractions here in the denominator. Notice the common denominator would be eight, so we'll multiply two over one by eight over eight. So now we'd have one eighth divided by, this would be one eighth plus 16 eighths, which would be 17 eighths. And then still minus two. Remember this fraction bar here just means division. So we can write this as one eighth divided by 17 eighths, which is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of 17 eighths. So we can write this as one eighth Again, instead of dividing by this fraction here, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 8 seventeenths, and then minus two. Now we'll find this product. Notice how we have eight over eight that simplifies to one. So now we have, this would be 1 17th minus two over one. Obtaining our common denominator of 17, we'll multiply by 17 over 17. 
So now we have a common denominator of 17, and the numerator would be 1 minus 2 times 17 is 34, 1 minus 34 is negative 33. So our function value is negative 33 sevenths, or we can say that f of 1 eighth equals negative 33 seventeenths. Which again means if we were to graph this function, the function would contain the point with an x coordinate of 1 eighth and a y coordinate of negative 33 seventeenths. Now let's go ahead and verify all three of these function values using the graphing calculator. There are a couple ways of doing this. There are a couple ways of doing this, but we're going to go ahead and type in our function f of x in y1. So I'm going to press y equals, clear out any old functions, and type in the new function, which is x divided by the quantity x plus 2, so x plus 2 must be in parentheses, Without the parentheses, only the x here would be in the denominator, and then minus 2. And now we're going to go back to the home screen by pressing second mode. And now we'll find these function values by using function notation, but we'll use y1 instead of f. So we'll press vars, right arrow once, enter, enter. This brings y1 to the home screen, and now in parentheses, we'll enter one. So open parenthesis, one, close parenthesis, and now we just press enter. Now this is a rounded function value. We want the exact function value, so we'll convert this to a fraction by pressing math, and then enter, enter. This verifies that f of one equals negative five-thirds. Now we want to determine f of negative six, so again we're going to press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and then in parentheses, we're going to type in negative six, enter, and we should recognize this as negative one-half, but to convert to a fraction, we'll press math, enter, enter. Verifying our function value, f of negative six is negative one-half. And now for the last function value of f of one-eighth, we're going to press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, one more time, and now in parentheses we'll enter one eighth. Enter, again we don't want to use this value, we want the exact value, so we'll convert this to a fraction. So we'll press math, enter, enter, which once again verifies our function value is correct. Now it is important to remember that when we find a function value, we're actually finding a point on the graph of the function. So to verify this, let's take a look at the graph of the function. Here are the three points on the function that we found by determining the three function values. Again, f of one equals negative five-thirds, which means the function contains the point with an x-coordinate of one and a y-coordinate of negative five-thirds here. f of negative six equals negative one-half, represents the point with an x-coordinate of negative six and a y-coordinate of negative one-half here. And then following the last function value, f of one-eighth equals negative thirty-three seventeenths, represents the point with an x-coordinate of one-eighth and a y-coordinate of negative thirty-three seventeenths by this point here. Notice how all these points are on the graph of the given function. I hope you found this explanation helpful.